So for today's uh, read aloud, we're going to do this book called My Wish for Tomorrow. Does anybody see anything um, about this cover that you might hear as a universal concept? If you can think about a universal concept like we've talked about, what do you think in this book might be universal? Yes? Um, the word tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's a universal. You sure? Okay. Everybody, if we're living, has tomorrow. Okay, we think about tomorrow. Yes? A wish. A wish. Lots of us make wishes, right? Lots of us have things we wish for. Um, now, if you were to take a look at this cover also, where are these kids from? Where do you think these kids are from? Yes? Okay, all, all around the world, yes. Different cultures, yes. Um, from that show that has the green guy on it. Okay, the show that has the green frog. Uh, are you talking about the Muppets? This is Kermit the Frog. Okay. Um, let me read what it says. My wish for tomorrow. Words and pictures from children around the world. Um, in celebration of 50th anniversary of the United Nations. We could guess that these children are from around the world. Couldn't we? Because of what it says here. Do we know for sure? Do we know for sure? We don't know for sure, do we? We don't. Um, and at first, remember, there was another book that had a picture like this, and you really thought they must be from all around the world because their skin colors were different. But they could be from right here in town. Okay? Maybe you don't know these kids, right? I don't know them either, and this book was written, let me tell you how long ago now. In 1995. So how many years ago is 1995 if this is 2012? Yes? A long time ago. How many? How many? How many? How many? Yes? 19 years. Oh, close. Yes? 17. 17 years ago. Okay, very close though. 17 years ago this book was written. So these kids are all adults now. All right? They're not kids anymore. They grew up. All right? So you wouldn't see them around anywhere. But the point is, we don't know exactly where they're from. And... Because this says, pick words and pictures from children all around the world, maybe we can assume they're from around the world, but we really don't know, okay, unless it tells us something inside the book. So today when we look at this book, actually, these pictures that you're going to see were drawn by many, kinds, many different children, okay? And just like you're going to be illustrating your own book, I want you to get an idea of different ways you can illustrate. And also, I really want you to listen to these children's wishes. And think about what maybe your wishes are that you would want to share with people. So this is my wish for tomorrow, words and pictures from children around the world. Okay, a collaboration between Jim Henson Publishing and the United Nation. Okay, now Jim Henson was the guy who did the Muppet Show, right? He created the Muppets. All right, that's where his name comes in. And look at, there's this little illustration here. Okay, you see how that's done. Now, not all of the illustrations in this book look the same. And please be thinking about how you are going to illustrate your page. You have two pages of your book in our book. And you will be able to think about which way you would like to illustrate those. So try to get some ideas. Okay, we're going to skip the foreword, which is by Nelson Mandela. Um, he was the president of the Republic of South Africa. You can go back and look at that if you feel like it. Um, and there is an introduction here by Boutros Boutros Ghali, the who used to be the Secretary General of the United Nations. You can go back and look at that when you have time. So look at these illustrations. Think about how they might have made them. A new world, a blue world, a sea world, a green world, a happy world, a laughing world. It's getting too late. And this was by Lauren Kimberly Pye, age 8, of the United States. What do you think Lauren Kimberly Pye used to illustrate this picture? Yes? Okay, what do you think she used to illustrate this picture? Okay, you think paint? Yes? Paint, maybe crayons? Yes? A pencil. Pencil? Yes, there's probably some pencil marks in there. And if you look real close, you can see exactly what, what these guys used. Yes? Oil pastels. Oil pastels? Hmm, maybe, maybe. Yes? Paper. Yeah, there's definitely paper. Oh, maybe. Maybe cut out paper. It almost looks to me, and I'm, I'm right up here so I can see it very closely. I almost think I see some marker lines around here, like, and maybe some pencil. So they used pencil and then went over it in a marker or something else. This definitely looks like finger paint to me, doesn't it? 
I would like to educate the people to share the world with animals and trees so that they will not kill them. Everybody has its place. The animals, the trees, and us. And this was by Crystal Acevedo Neverman, age 6, of Costa Rica. I wish I could ask the fairies to make all trees grow sweets for children. By Adrian Moss, age 6, of Malawi. If a wall falls down, cranes can build it up again. But if a friendship wall falls, it's you that has to do the building. Stop fighting and be friends. Okay, I'm hearing universals even right in these... Um, poems and uh, what's well, kind of poet, poetic wishes, I guess, by kids. That was by uh, Mead Long, Nine of Ireland. Now, what do you think they used to illustrate this one? Just, uh, just thinking about it. Yes. Okay, maybe some paint. Ideas about what kind of paint? I would say definitely paint. Yes. Okay, maybe some crayon in there. Yes. It looks watercolorish to me. Yes? And it could be acrylic paint. Okay, it could be acrylic. It could be acrylic. There's definitely some parts that look like it could be acrylic, so we're not quite sure about that, but definitely some sort of paint. Watercolor. The reason I think watercolor is because of how it gets lighter, really lighter in here, but also when you're talking about acrylics, some of the areas in here look kind of acrylic-y, don't they? Yes? Um, finger paint. Okay, maybe. I wish that there would be no disadvantaged people, and that everybody could see, hear, laugh, speak, run, love, play, if there were no disabilities. That would be my wish. That was by David Gray, age 12, of Australia. I wish for the ozone hole to close. I wish AIDS would be cured and that children without parents can have new parents to look after them. That was by Kevin McLean, age 11, of Malawi. What do you think about this? What do you see in there? Yes? Okay, I definitely see crayons. See anything else? Um, there might be a little bit of Maybe. Maybe if we look close. I do see one other thing in there, though, besides crayons. Does anybody else see it? Yes? Yes? And what kind of paint? Yeah, I would agree with you. Can you tell what kind just by looking at this illustration? Yep. I definitely, I would see watercolor. Yeah, I see some watercolor in there. Look at this grass, or this pond back here in, 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 in the grass. You see that? You could do that, and that's exactly what I want you to be thinking about. With your topic, right, yours is dolphins. With your topic, how is your picture going to look? Or how is your illustration going to look? And you don't have to do a big fancy illustration, right, but it, the pieces that you're going to illustrate, what are they going to look like? I want you to get a picture in your mind. I wish I could behave better in my world. That was by Navin Nauman Miangales, age 11, of Trinidad. I wish all adults would have a good heart that they will always understand the children. That was by Cynthia Barreda Vilches, age 9, of Peru. And this says, wish that young people wouldn't forget old people. By Renato Reyes, age 4. That was a 4-year-old boy who thought about that, of Peru. So what do you think? What do you see in the illustrations here? Yes? Paint. Okay, I see some paint for sure. Yes? Do you see some watercolor? Maybe. Yes? Marker. Maybe marker? I don't know. I'm wondering. What do you think this is, guys? What do you think this is? Yes? Oil pastels. It looks kind of oil pastelish to me if I can use that as, a, as a, an adjective describing that. This looks kind of like finger paint to me. And then look at this one. I wish the most civilized nations could express their knowledge to other nations. And that was by Wambua Kialo, age 9 of Kenya. Kenya's in Africa. I wish every bomb, every shot, every death would be replaced by the smile of a child. How beautiful. That's a beautiful wish, isn't it? That was by Daniela Eduarda de Megal. Carniero, age 11, of Portugal. Very long name. I wish that I was the president and I would make sure that every poor person was rich. That was by Maggie Nash McCaffrey, age 6, of the United States. Look at these illustrations. Yes? Okay, maybe paint. Yes? Watercolors. Maybe. Yes? 
you're getting some ideas for sure about how we can do it. So I'm going to just read these to you, and I want you to kind of get some ideas as I read through these. All right? Um, and if we see a really unique one, I might stop and comment on it. But this will be available for you to go back through and look, take a look at. So, Peace in the World. And this is a, looks like a poem by Nadesha Elizabeth Ann per Pereira, age 10 of Guiana. Peace in the world. All I want is a little peace, please. All I want is peace. War in the world is everywhere. All I want is peace. I want peace in the north, peace in the south, peace in the east, peace in the west. All I want is peace. Peace in the hearts of all the leaders in different nations of the world. Peace is so great. Thank you, peace. <laughs> and this next one is by Vijaj Va Vardam, age unknown in India. In my new world, all must speak little, but speak the truth. Beautiful, huh? I wish everyone would love each other for what they are and that nobody would have to put on an act to be liked. And that was by Akansha Hazari, age 11 and a half, from China. Wish, if people did not have far to go, that they would use horse carriages instead of cars. P.S. That's good for the environment. That was by Marcelou Beck Madsen, age 10 of Denmark. We wish everyone could be kind to other people. We believe if one is kind to others, wars might be disappeared in the world. That was by Son Lee and Aaron Lee, who are twins, age 11 in South Korea. Right? And the one thing I noticed that's really interesting about this picture, and you can look when you have some time close up, um, it, I would say that it was done maybe in marker and in colored pencil, or crayon even. And if you look closely, you can see where there's outlines of other animals in the grass here. There's one up here, and there's one here. Now, I don't know if this was on purpose, or if they had already drawn their picture, and then over it, they drew another animal, and so it kind of accidentally ended up that way. But I thought it was really neat that they published that. Okay, and that is all.